The stellar dawn drifted through the void of space, engines purring softly as it headed back toward the Sol system. But despite the calm exterior, the atmosphere on board was tense. After the experiment with the artifact, the crew had been on edge, wary of the unknown power now resting in their cargo bay. Captain Alia Trent hadn't slept in days. She couldn't shake the feeling that something was watching, waiting. The artifact pulsed with energy, and she could sense its presence even when she wasn't near it. Kalen's encounter with the strange visions weighed heavily on her mind. He had recovered physically, but something about him had changed. He was quieter, more introspective, and whenever Alia tried to ask him about what he had seen, his answers were vague and unsettling. In the command center, Alia stood with her arms crossed, staring at the vastness of space beyond the ship's viewport. Mira and Lieutenant Thane, her tactical officer, were quietly discussing the next steps, but their conversation was interrupted by a shrill beep from the comms console. Incoming transmission, Captain, Thane announced, his fingers flying over the controls. It's heavily encrypted. Alia frowned, moving toward the console. Who's it from? Thane's brow furrowed. It's unidentified. The signal's coming from outside known space, but it's directed specifically at us. Patch it through, Alia ordered, her instincts immediately on high alert. The screen flickered for a moment before resolving into the image of an alien figure, a towering, armored creature with dark, leathery skin and cold, predatory eyes. Alia recognized the species immediately. The Vroth. Captain Trent, the creature hissed, its voice low and menacing. You've come into possession of something that doesn't belong to you. Alia's blood chilled, but she kept her face impassive. And who are you to claim otherwise? The Vroth bared its sharp teeth in a mockery of a smile. I am Commander Zale of the Vroth Dominion. The artifact you've taken, it belongs to us. It is an ancient relic of our people, and we will not tolerate it in the hands of lesser beings. Mira stepped forward, her face pale but determined. That artifact doesn't belong to any living species. It's a remnant of something far older than you or us. Zale's eyes flicked toward Mira, then back to Alia. It is not for you to understand, human, but rest assured, the power it holds is beyond your comprehension. Return it to us, or we will take it by force. Alia's jaw clenched. She could sense the underlying threat in Zale's words. The Vroth weren't just issuing a demand, they were preparing for war. You'll forgive me if I don't take orders from invaders, she said coldly. Zale's smile vanished, replaced by a sneer of contempt. You don't understand what you're meddling with, Captain. That artifact, it is not just a weapon, it is a key to powers that could reshape the galaxy. And you, fragile as your species is, will be consumed by it. You're already too late. The screen went dark, cutting off any further conversation. For a moment, the bridge was silent, the weight of the Vroth's words hanging heavy in the air. Alia turned to Thane, her mind already calculating. How close are we to the Sol system? Three days out at current speed, Thane replied. Increase our velocity. I want to reach Earth as soon as possible. Thane nodded and set to work. But Mira stepped closer to Alia, her voice hushed. Captain, do you think the Vroth knew we'd found the artifact? How could they track us so quickly? Alia shook her head. I don't know, but this is more than a simple relic to them. Zale wasn't just posturing. He's afraid of what the artifact can do in our hands. Mira hesitated, then lowered her voice even further. And maybe he's right. Alia turned to face her, her expression hard. Explain. I've been running more scans. The artifact's energy output is increasing, but it's not just feeding on us. It's reaching out, broadcasting. It's as if it's trying to make contact. Alia's mind raced. Contact with what? Mira hesitated, then looked Alia in the eye. I think it's calling out to others, not just the Vroth, but anyone or anything that might be listening. The briefing room was quiet, the hum of the ship's systems barely audible as Alia stood before her senior officers. Mira, Thane, Kalin, and Dr. Hendricks were seated around the table, their faces reflecting the growing tension. The news of the Vroth's threat had been a shock, but Alia knew they needed to focus on the immediate issue, the artifact. We're being hunted, Alia began, her voice steady but firm. The Vroth believe the artifact belongs to them, and they're willing to start a war to get it back. But we also know the artifact is more than just a piece of alien technology. It's broadcasting something, trying to communicate, 
or worse, trying to summon someone. The others exchanged uneasy glances, but Mira leaned forward. I've been analyzing the signals. It's not random. It's sending out a specific pattern, almost like a distress signal. Distress? Kalen asked, frowning. Why would it send a distress signal? It's possible the artifact is part of a larger network, Mira explained. Maybe it's one of many, scattered across the galaxy. It could be trying to reach out to other artifacts, or to whatever created it in the first place. Dr. Hendricks shifted uncomfortably. And what happens if it succeeds? That's what we need to find out, Alia said, her tone grim. But we don't have much time. The Vroth are on their way, and we need to prepare for the worst. Thane, ever the pragmatist, spoke up. Captain, with all due respect, we should consider destroying the artifact. If it's broadcasting our location, we're a sitting target. We can't fight the Vroth, and whatever else might come looking for it. Alia shook her head. Destroying it might not be an option. We don't know how it would react, and if we lose control of it, we could trigger something far worse than a Vroth invasion. Mira nodded in agreement. The energy contained within the artifact is volatile. If we try to destroy it, we could end up wiping out this entire ship, or worse. The room fell silent as the weight of the situation pressed down on them. Alia could feel the eyes of her crew on her, waiting for direction. We're not destroying it, Alia said finally. We'll keep it contained and continue our research, but we need to be ready for anything. The Vroth will be here soon, and when they arrive, we'll need to fight. Callan, who had been silent up until now, spoke up. What if the artifact isn't just a weapon? What if it's meant to be used? Alia turned to him, her brow furrowed. What do you mean? I've been thinking about what I saw during the test, Kalen said, his voice quiet but steady. The visions, the flashes of possible futures, it wasn't just showing me what could happen, it was offering me a choice. It wants to be used. Mira's eyes widened. You think the artifact is trying to communicate with us? Kalen nodded. I think it's more than just a relic. It's alive in some way, and it's looking for someone to wield its power. Alia felt a chill run down her spine. And you think we should be the ones to do that? Kalen shrugged. If we don't, someone else will. The Vroth, or worse. If this thing is as powerful as we think, it could change the course of the entire galaxy. The room fell silent again as the implications of Kalen's words sank in. Alia's mind raced, weighing the risks and the possibilities. She had always believed that humanity was destined for something greater, but this... This was a leap into the unknown. Finally, Alia straightened, her expression resolute. We'll continue studying the artifact, but no one makes any moves without my authorization. We're going to prepare for the Vroth, and when they arrive, we'll be ready. She turned to Than. E. Prepare the ship for battle. I want all weapon systems online, and I want contingency plans for every possible scenario. Thane nodded and stood. Understood, Captain. As the others began to leave the room, Alia remained behind, her gaze fixed on the display screen showing the artifact's energy signature. It pulsed steadily, its light casting eerie shadows across the room. Alia knew the Vroth were coming, but they weren't the only threat on the horizon. The artifact had awakened something, something ancient, something powerful, and whatever it was, it was coming for them. The view from the Stellar Dawn's bridge was breathtaking, but Alia Trent had no time to appreciate it. Below them, Earth loomed large, the blue-green marble of humanity's home set against the infinite black of space. Alia's thoughts were far from the safety and comfort that home once represented. War was coming, and it wouldn't just be fought in space. Communications from Earth, Captain, Thane said, his fingers moving deftly over the console. They've received our warning about the Vroth. They're mobilizing, but they want to know what we're dealing with. Alia nodded her eyes fixed on the screen in front of her. She could still hear Zale's threat echoing in her mind. The Vroth were coming, and they weren't going to stop until they had the artifact. Send a reply. Tell them we're dealing with an advanced alien force, stronger than anything we've encountered before. They need to prepare for full-scale war. Alia said, her voice hard and determined. And tell them we need every available ship ready to join the defense. Thane relayed the message, but Alia could see the uncertainty in his eyes. They had fought skirmishes before, small encounters with rogue alien factions or pirate groups, but this was different. 
The Vroth were a full-fledged military force, and from what they had seen, they had no intention of showing mercy. Alia's thoughts shifted to the artifact in the containment chamber. It was still pulsing, still emitting its strange energy signature. Mira had continued her studies, but there was only so much they could learn in such a short time. All they knew for certain was that the artifact was growing more powerful by the hour. Captain, incoming message from the lunar colonies, Thane interrupted her thoughts. They're offering their support. They're sending their defense fleet to rendezvous with us in orbit. Alia allowed herself a brief moment of relief. The lunar colonies were small, but their defense fleets were equipped with advanced weapons, technology that could give them an edge against the Vroth. Good. We'll need all the help we can get, Alia replied. Have them coordinate with Earth's defense fleet. I want a unified front when the Vroth arrive. Thane nodded and got to work. Alia could feel the weight of command pressing down on her, but she couldn't afford to hesitate. They were facing an enemy that would stop at nothing to destroy them, and they had to be ready for anything. As the stellar dawn orbited Earth, Alia called for an emergency meeting with her senior officers. The briefing room was tense, the faces around the table reflecting the gravity of their situation. The Vroth will be here soon, Alia began, her voice calm but firm. We've mobilized Earth's defense fleets, and the lunar colonies are sending reinforcements, but it's not enough. Mira nodded, her expression grim. Even with all our combined forces, we're outnumbered. The Vroth ships are heavily armed, and their technology is more advanced than ours. Thane, ever the pragmatist, leaned forward. We'll need to use guerrilla tactics, hit-and-run strikes, disrupt their supply lines, anything to slow them down. We can't face them head-on, not with the numbers they're bringing. Alia nodded. Agreed, but we also have one advantage they don't. Her eyes turned to the holographic display of the artifact. Its faint blue light glowed softly, casting eerie shadows across the room. The artifact, Kalen said, his voice quiet but steady. It's the key, isn't it? Alia met his gaze. I believe it is. The Vroth want it because they know what it's capable of. And now, so do we. Mira frowned, clearly uneasy. Captain, we still don't fully understand how it works. It's powerful, yes, but using it could have consequences we can't predict. Alia understood Mira's hesitation, but the reality was clear. They had run out of time. We may not have a choice. The Vroth will stop at nothing to get the artifact, and if we can't hold them off, they'll use it to wipe us out. Kalen leaned forward, his eyes intense. So, we use it first. Mira looked alarmed. We don't even know how to activate it properly. The last time we tried interfacing with it, Kalen almost... I'll do it, Kalen interrupted, his voice firm. I've been connected to it before. I can do it again. Alia watched him closely. Kalen had been different since his first encounter with the artifact. He was more focused, more driven. But she also saw the toll it had taken on him. The artifact was powerful, but it wasn't without its risks. Kalen, are you sure you're ready for this? Alia asked quietly. Kalen nodded. I'm the only one who can do it. I can feel it, Captain. It's like it's waiting for me. Mira still looked uncertain, but she didn't argue further. Alia knew the risks, but they were running out of options. The Vroth were coming, and they needed every advantage they could get. All right. Alia said finally. We'll continue preparing for the Vroth. Kalen, you'll work with Mira to figure out how to harness the artifact's power. We need to be ready to use it when the time comes. The officers nodded, though the tension in the room remained thick. The plan was dangerous, but it was the only one they had. The following days passed in a blur of activity. The Stellar Dawn was fully armed, its weapon systems primed for battle. Earth's defense fleets had gathered, a collection of warships from across the system, united in the face of a common enemy. The Lunar Colony's defense fleet had arrived as promised bolstering their ranks with advanced fighters and heavy cruisers. But even with all their preparations, the uncertainty lingered. The Vroth were still an unknown force, their capabilities only partially understood. Alia stood on the bridge, watching the stars beyond the viewport. Somewhere out there, the Vroth fleet was on its way, and they wouldn't stop until they had the artifact. Captain, Thane said quietly, breaking the silence, I'm getting something on long-range sensors. Alia's heart skipped a beat. What is it? Thane's eyes narrowed as he scanned the data. It's faint, 
but it's coming from outside our solar system. Several large ships, moving fast. The Vrath? Mira asked, her voice tense. Thane nodded. Looks like it. They'll be here in less than twelve hours. Alia's stomach churned. Twelve hours. That was all the time they had left to prepare. Sound the alert, Alia ordered. All ships to battle stations. Thane moved quickly, his fingers dancing over the controls. The alert sounded across the stellar dawn, a deep resonant tone that echoed through the corridors. It was a sound that every crew member knew well. Battle was imminent. Mira appeared at Alia's side, her face pale. We've made some progress with the artifact, but it's still unstable. Callan's been interfacing with it, but there's no guarantee it will respond the way we need it to. Alia nodded, her eyes fixed on the stars. We'll have to take that risk. Prepare the artifact for activation. If the Vroth break through our defenses, it may be the only thing that can save us. The Vroth fleet arrived on the edge of the solar system, their ships massive and intimidating. Alia watched from the command center as the sensor readings lit up the screen. There were dozens of them, warships, battlecruisers, fighters. It was an invasion force, and it was heading straight for Earth. They're here, Thane said grimly. Alia took a deep breath, steeling herself for what was to come. Prepare for battle. We hold the line. The fleet of Earth, the lunar colonies, and a scattering of independent ships from across the system gathered in a defensive formation. Alia knew that the coming battle would determine the fate of humanity. They were outnumbered, outgunned, and facing an enemy that wouldn't hesitate to destroy them. But they had one thing the Vroth didn't. They had the artifact. And Alia would use, no matter the cost, 